Though technology keeps advancing rapidly, who would have imagined you could one day fill your car's tank with water and drive off? Toyota's recent announcement hints at a future where cars could potentially run on water, possibly signaling the end of electric vehicles. But can a car truly run on just water, without fuel or electricity? Stick around as we dive into this groundbreaking technology and explore Toyota's new water engine, a development that could revolutionize the automotive industry. Toyota's new water engine. The car industry is on the brink of a major transformation. Imagine a vehicle powered by water, using advanced electrolysis, it converts water into hydrogen to fuel the engine. This engine harnesses the chemical energy from combining hydrogen and oxygen, producing power with water vapor as the only byproduct. This innovation not only cuts harmful emissions but also addresses concerns about global warming and air pollution. Toyota's breakthrough promises a cleaner, greener future for transportation, aligning with global climate change efforts. While electric cars have led the green automotive movement with their zero emissions and reliance on renewable energy, Toyota's water-powered car offers unique advantages. Unlike electric vehicles that rely on battery charging from the grid, Toyota's car uses water, a plentiful and renewable resource. The electrolysis process, which splits water into hydrogen and oxygen, can be powered by renewable energy like solar or wind, making the entire system more sustainable. Electric cars, though marketed as zero-emission vehicles, face environmental challenges in producing and disposing of lithium-ion batteries, which require significant resources. Toyota's water-powered car bypasses these issues entirely. At a recent meeting in Japan, Executive Vice President and Chief Technology Officer Hiroki Nakajima announced Toyota's plan to revolutionize transportation with this new technology. He emphasized Toyota's shift from being just a car company to becoming a mobility company offering diverse movement options. Joining him were Takeru Kato, who oversees electric vehicles, BEVs, and Mitsumesa Yamagata, who will lead the hydrogen car team when the factory launches. Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell cars work by creating electricity from a chemical reaction between hydrogen stored in the car and oxygen from the air. The process is efficient and safe, requiring minimal energy and producing no harmful byproducts. Unlike traditional hydrogen cars that need heavy, high-pressure tanks, Toyota's system generates hydrogen on demand, making the vehicle lighter and more efficient. To optimize the use of hydrogen fuel, certain engine components must be modified. Fuel injectors, engine blocks, and cylinder heads need to be reinforced to handle the high pressure of hydrogen, while valves and spark plugs must be specially designed for the engine to run smoothly and safely. We'll dive deeper into the technology later, but it's important to note that Toyota's water engine has significant advantages over traditional hydrogen motors. Storing water is simpler, safer, and more cost-effective than storing hydrogen, which requires heavy, high-pressure tanks that are expensive and potentially hazardous. Water, as a liquid, is easier to store and doesn't need special tanks, making the water-powered engine versatile for small cars, large trucks, and even power plants. Its simplicity and safety make it a superior choice, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and lowering emissions, a more sustainable option for both transportation and energy generation. However, it might surprise you to learn that the idea of a water-powered car isn't entirely new. History of Water Vehicles Before Toyota's push to create water-powered cars, many others tried and failed with similar claims. In 2008, the Japanese company JPX announced a car running on water, but it turned out the vehicle also required metal hydride and wasn't truly water-powered. Their claims lacked scientific backing, echoing the failed promises of Stanley Meyer in the 1980s, who was later convicted of fraud. In 2002, hydrogen technology application's Aquagen device claimed to split water into hydrogen but later admitted it only improved fuel efficiency. Genesis World Energy also promised a water-powered device but never delivered, and its founder was jailed for fraud in 2006. That same year, Sri Lankan Thushra Prayal de Zoisa claimed to drive 190 miles on just 3 liters of water, but he was later arrested for fraud. More recently, in 2022, Indonesian Arianto Mel claimed his Nkuba device could power motorcycles 500 kilometers on a liter of water. Scientists dismissed his claims, and major car companies had no interest in his technology. These attempts raise questions about whether the potential of water as a fuel source has been deliberately suppressed. The global energy industry, dominated by fossil fuels, may have a vested interest in stifling such disruptive technologies. 
Additionally, skepticism and misinformation often accompany new technologies, further hindering their acceptance. Despite past failures, Toyota's ongoing development of water-powered vehicles, backed by their reputation and resources, suggests we may soon see a breakthrough in this field. Toyota's commitment to clean technologies and competition from electric car makers highlight the real push for greener energy solutions. Their advancements, including the hydrogen-powered Mirai, indicate a promising future for sustainable transportation. Comparison with China and America In the race towards sustainable transportation, China and the United States are leading in electric vehicle EV, production. China, with aggressive policies and investments, has become the largest EV market, driven by companies like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng. Government support, extensive charging networks, and a focus on battery technology have fueled this growth. In the US, Tesla, under Elon Musk, has set new standards with innovative designs and a broad supercharger network. Traditional automakers like GM and Ford are also investing heavily in EVs. However, both countries face challenges related to battery production, disposal, and sustainable energy sources. Toyota offers a unique solution with its water-powered car, using hydrogen fuel cells instead of lithium-ion batteries. This approach addresses some environmental concerns of battery production and produces only water vapor, eliminating harmful emissions. Hydrogen fuel cells can be refueled quickly and have a higher energy density than batteries, offering longer driving ranges. Additionally, hydrogen can be produced using renewable energy sources, enhancing sustainability. Toyota has also tackled challenges in hydrogen production and storage with efficient electrolysis units and advanced high-pressure tanks. Their hydrogen vehicles are designed to perform well even in cold climates, thanks to innovative heating elements and insulation. By integrating renewable energy in hydrogen production, Toyota's water-powered car represents a truly green alternative in the automotive industry. Eco-friendly technology. Great innovations rarely appear overnight. Toyota's eco-friendly efforts extend beyond hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, as the company has long been a leader in hybrid and alternative fuel technologies. Notably, Toyota is exploring cleaner hydrocarbons, such as synthetic fuels and biofuels, which offer reduced environmental impact compared to traditional fossil fuels. Synthetic hydrocarbons recycle CO2 and reduce carbon footprints, while biofuels, made from organic materials, are renewable and sustainable. Toyota is enhancing biofuel efficiency and integrating these alternatives into its lineup to address emissions while hydrogen and electric infrastructure grows. Additionally, Toyota's advancements in fuel cell technology are central to its eco-friendly strategy. Hydrogen fuel cells convert hydrogen into electricity, producing only water vapor as a byproduct. Since unveiling its first fuel cell vehicle prototype in the early 1990s, Toyota has improved fuel cell efficiency, compactness, and cost-effectiveness. With over 5,000 related patents, Toyota is a leader in hydrogen technology, including fuel cell stack design and hydrogen storage. A key milestone is the Mirai, Toyota's first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Launched in 2014, the Mirai features a hydrogen fuel cell system that powers an electric motor, with a driving range of over 300 miles and a refueling time of about 5 minutes. This makes it a practical choice for eco-conscious consumers. The Mirai emits only water vapor, contributing to cleaner air and lower greenhouse gas emissions. Toyota is also working to make hydrogen vehicles more affordable and accessible by improving manufacturing and expanding refueling infrastructure. Beyond passenger vehicles, Toyota is applying hydrogen technology to buses, trucks, and stationary energy systems, such as hydrogen-powered generators. This comprehensive approach highlights Toyota's commitment to a sustainable future, integrating innovative vehicles with supportive infrastructure and energy solutions. Electrolyzer Process Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell cars work by using a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity. This electricity powers the vehicle, making it a clean and efficient way to drive. Here's how it works. The vehicle has an electrolyzer that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. The water, made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, is separated into hydrogen and oxygen by the electrolyzer. The process involves electricity flowing through two electrodes in the water, one positive, anode, and one negative, cathode. This flow makes hydrogen move to the negative electrode and oxygen to the positive one. 
The hydrogen is then used as fuel in the motor, which turns electrical energy into mechanical energy to drive the wheels. A power control unit manages the electricity flow between the fuel cell stack, battery, and motor, ensuring smooth acceleration and regenerative braking. The fuel cell stack generates direct current DC, electricity through the hydrogen-oxygen reaction, which an inverter converts to alternating current AC, for the motor. During braking, the motor converts kinetic energy back into electrical energy for the battery, enhancing efficiency and driving experience. However, electrolysis isn't 100% efficient, traditional systems have around 60-70% to 70 efficiency, with the rest lost as heat. Advances have pushed this closer to 80% due to improved materials and catalysts. Fuel cells themselves have about 50-60% to 60 efficiency. Combining these, the overall efficiency from water to usable electricity is around 40-50%. to 50 Despite this, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles offer longer ranges than battery electric vehicles BEVs, due to hydrogen's higher energy density, providing substantial driving distances even with lower efficiency. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching.